Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're doing a video that has been on my list of video ideas for something that feels like three years, probably. I don't know, when did I start this? In July 2018 I started this, uh, so one and a half years, almost two years. So what we are going to talk about today, as you might know from the title, is all of my favorite gold highlighters and by gold I mean uh, uh, more of a, a warm toned champagne but it leans more gold and leans it leans warm toned and something like I'm wearing today I have warm undertones with I think it's a peachy overtone to my skin and um, cool toned highlights and very light highlights don't look good on me so I need to find something that is right in the middle um, and I'll show you something that is too dark for me as well, so that you can see what a real gold looks like. This makeup look that I'm wearing, you uh, can check out the Get Ready With Me. Uh, in my last video, I talked about the situation here in the Netherlands with the coronavirus, updated to what is today, the 15th of March. And uh, I'm just keep on filming because I think uh, since a lot of us are home and uh, don't go to work it's good to have content out there that people can be entertained by. That said, don't feel like you have to go and buy any of these. This is just me showing my collection and there's also two items here that I decluttered but didn't leave uh, my house yet. And uh, I'll also talk to you about why I decluttered it and why I'm keeping only a few. The collection of highlighters that I have now makes me happy and I don't feel the need to buy any other highlighters. I think my highlighter um, a bug is settled, we're happy, um, we're in love and I can just do with the collection that I have, which is more than anyone ever needs. But I like them all for different reasons and um, if something is good, I can't just throw it away because I, I don't want to. So that said, please don't feel obliged to go buy any of this. Just, uh, yeah, take a look. This uh, category is one of those in my low buy rules, which if you haven't seen, I'll link in the cards and in the description box. Um, I don't plan to buy any highlighters in the coming year or in 2020. So yeah, that is to say that I'm very happy with what I have. Now, chatting for three minutes for no reason, let's start with the one that I would keep if there was only one and I couldn't wear anything else. And that's Amrizi, the collaboration highlighter with Anastasia Be Beverly Hills. It doesn't have a special name, does it? No, an eliminating powder with an ultra smooth formula and radiant finish highlighter. That's it. Uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills X Amrezy. So this guy right here is the perfect tone of um, champagne or gold for me, but it isn't about the color that works perfectly. It's about the finish. Now, I'm not sure if I want to swatch on my hand. I'm going to try swatching on my uh, collarbone and uh, chest area, even though it's not as smooth as made up as the rest of my uh, face because I don't have makeup here. But I hope you can see the shine of it as I move. And this is so invisible on the skin. It doesn't look like powder. It doesn't have a very strong or at all of a, a base color. And it looks really, really good. This is my favorite. This is the one. There's another one that comes really, really, really close. Really, really. <laughs> really close. <laughs> I hope that didn't hurt your uh, eardrums. And that is Nabla Cosmetics Amnesia. The formula of this is even more uh, invisible and even less. I hope you can see, you can see the difference, can you? Like this one gives you a glow from within, the typical glass skin highlighting that you expect. Whereas this one here, you can really see its makeup. This one here, you can. So both of these, I'd be happy to live with forever. And actually probably for different reasons, like on a low makeup day, on a natural makeup day, I would definitely use Amnesia rather than um, the Anastasia one. And uh, yeah, I, I, I hope you can see the difference. I see it in the viewfinder. That's why I'm looking right next to you and at, in my mirror right underneath. So these are 
the two best gold highlighters that I own. Then there's more though, because there's other things that I love. Um, one big contrast that I want to add is the Becca Champagne Pop. I have this mini guy right here. Now this was one of the formulas that first came out of blinding highlights and I have to say it the color is really really beautiful. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today but it really is makeup. Um, it can also emphasize a bit any imperfections that you have and it is a thicker formula, a little bit more chunky and a little bit more of a base color and I, I hope you can see the difference between the Amrezi and the Becca right here. Maybe I should zoom you out even further so there's more collarbone. We're not gonna go to the boobs, don't worry. There, maybe we have more space now. Uh, here you can see the Becca and here you can see the Anastasia one and the Becca has a little bit more of a base color so I use it because I have it and I love the color but it's something that you have to use in a very small amount compared to the rest and you have to be a little bit more careful so if I had it in a full size I would probably have given it away but since I have a mini and I enjoy the color I kept it. Next up that I love uh, is also from Nabla and it's from their old The Nude collection. This is the shade Savage and it's this guy right here. This is a touch darker and um, I use this more in summer but this one also compared to the others that I've shown you has a little bit more of a base color. Um, it's I find that it's not as bad as the Becca one in uh, uh, emphasizing texture of the skin. I really like the formula of this one. It's more blinding than um, than the amnesia one, than the skin glazing, but it's a bit more makeup-y also. So love that one. You can't get that one anymore, but as you can see that it's a little bit also of a darker shade and I love using it in summer. How does this chest swatches work for you guys? Because I, I wasn't gonna do it, put it on my cheeks and I think on my hand or on the back of my arm, you can't really see it as much. So that was that. Then uh, something that um, my friend Meg told me, or Mariam, I think maybe Mariam, we were talking during the day that we filmed all of our three videos together. If you haven't seen those, please go see them. They were so much fun to film. Uh, on my channel, there's a good ready with me. On Mariam's channel, there's an expat tag on questions, discussions about life as an expat. And on Meg's channel, we did a makeup tag and uh, it, it was so much fun. Anyways, I think Mariam told me that uh, she thought she read somewhere that the pixie glowy gossamer dew in subtle sunrise is a dupe for Amrezi and uh, color wise it could be as I said uh, Amrezi is not that's the first one up here is not a very unique color however the texture is very unique um, here you have the pixie one I'll put it what, on top it is in a valley so I don't know if you're actually gonna ever see it mm, maybe if I do this not so much, but it is a uh, very similar color and the formula of these pixie ones are also absolutely beautiful. I feel like it's a 80% dupe, very good dupe when it comes to um, the color, but the formula is just not there. Let me put them on my hands next to each other so maybe you can see it better. This one right here is Pixie. This one is Anastasia Beverly Hills. I hope you can see a bit of a difference there. Um, as, you, as I said, the color is very, very similar. The formulas are not perfectly the same. And um, yeah, I would say the Pixie one is maybe a little bit less pigmented. That's Pixie. That's ABH but the color is so similar. So if you don't have ABH XM uh, Reezy and you have FOMO and you missed out and you're sad and you're crying your eyes out, you could take a look at these pixie ones. The quality is amazing. I kept them both after my declutter. I really, really like them and um, I can definitely recommend these if you want them. I am left with three non uh, um, top of the notch but something that is still uh, widely available and um, yeah that you could take a look at one is an eyeshadow actually and it was quite famous wrong one it is the kiko 
number 208 and it's part of the long lasting wet and dry use eyeshadows. These guys right here and this one is a very pretty gold. I'm gonna put it down here. It's as you can see again lighter than Savage. Um, the thing with this one is that it is okay. I don't feel like it's perfect. It's right here. Can you see it? Yes, it's right here. It's not perfect, but it does it, it, its job well, I think. So that one right there is an option. I've loved it for many years. I decluttered it now because I feel like I'm happier with the rest of the things that I have rather than this one. Then uh, another one that is very well loved is the Ofra Rodeo Drive Highlighter. I just decluttered it this year after having it for two years at least. I got it in a boxy charm actually when I lived in the US. This guy right here is a beautiful shade, beautiful, beautiful shade. But as you can see already on my finger, it has much, much more uh, powderiness and it will emphasize your texture a little bit more than the rest and it's right here. Beautiful highlighter, definitely a great color, perfect for me. Um, but among these, this one is like, if everything is on one of the ones that I showed you at the beginning, this one just falls a little bit shorter. It's not something that I would say don't buy it, it's horrible. Uh, it's a good product, but not as good as those right there. The final one that I promised I would show uh, is the one that is too dark for me. And this is a proper straight up gold. This is uh, Becca Prosecco Pop. This was also in a boxy charm and I've used it a handful of times. Um, but it's much darker. Maybe I can put it in the middle. It's much darker, more golden, more yellow. And it is almost impossible for me to wear. I hope you can see it. It's really, it doesn't really work as a highlight on my skin. If I use it on my face also, it's actually quite terrible. So yes, that was my gold eyeshadow, no. So that was my gold highlighters, top gold highlighters that I own. The perfect highlighters for a light skin tones with warm undertones. I think uh, any pick of these would be great. Um, maybe indeed Prosecco Pop, if you're a touch darker than me. I am typically, I don't know, I keep saying an NC25, but then it depends on what product you are. So <laughs> I don't know. I am not soft tan right now and my foundation is uh, too and too buff by uh, SL Loaders. I don't know if that helps you at all, but usually I would be, uh, if I'm a little bit tan, I have even warmer tones coming out through my skin. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Let me know if I missed any product that would fit in this category and would blow my mind away because uh, of course I'm always open to being proved wrong. That's the whole thing. Uh, but I think I have found my perfect highlighters in ABH Amrezi and Nabla Cosmetic Amnesia. Both of them are stunning and Arguably, I could only keep those two of all of these, but I, I couldn't give away Savage, for example, or my Pixie ones. They are so, so good. Um, they are just the perfect highlighter for me. I'm not one that wants to be seen from space, um, she says, while wearing uh, champagne pop, but I think you can see this from space, probably. But it's also not a look that I go for um, so much. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what your perfect highlighter is and uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.